Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! Yeah, I took care of all those guys there, off screen. There were some other dragons and stuff in front of us, but we took care of them easily enough with the power of Sentinels! Actually, I was more so referencing the Matrix than the X-Men, but I suppose that works too. Saz? Saz? You talking to yourself or his dead body or... It's a stiff! No. No, just kidding. Uh, guess he's still alive. Enough. I think, unless he's <laughs> just standing there. Is enough. What happened? Uh, Frocobo seems happy. What, did the bullet just go through your head? Or not? No, nah, no, nah, I was just jacking with you. I was just trying to scare you, Vanilla. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Woohoo! Yeah, Why can't Frokobos. I do it? Frokobos mm. sort of seems happy. No reason to keep living. I can't even kill you. Uh. There's no crying in Final Fantasy. Uh. Freeze! Take him! Nuts. <laughs> You've been a bad boy, Sass. <laughs> what is she doing? What is that supposed to be for? What is she, like an instructor or something? For like a... a you should be proud. I don't know. Well, a military instructor? Your son's a hero. The boy who saved Cocoon. We'll erect a memorial we'll in call him Link. and put his no. crystal on display. A memorial? He's a little boy! As the He's son of dead. a pulseless sea, he would have lived in shame and misery. Isn't it better he be treated with reverence as a monument to sacrifice? It's an ice cube? I don't know if that really matters. Well, that was rather effective. Next time your eyes Worked open, on snow, too. Will be the last. Yeah, I know. A lot of you explained that to me the last time. Nuts. Yeah, did that, did that really fool anyone? The fake suicide sequence? Really? Really, game? I liked it way better in Final Fantasy That's VI. Mine. I'm the one who lied to everyone. But whatever. I mean, it's. Forget I don't it. even care. You can't change what's done. But if I just told the truth. Now, now, now. I've been thinking. You woke up from being a crystal once. <laughs> well, that means Dodge will wake up one day too, right? And then you'll have a new fro to hop into. <gasps> the Frocobo, not. You. What was it like? I mean, how did it happen? It, you were done with your focus, right? It's nice to know that uh, Saz isn't going to go on the, uh, I was you know, misguided revenge deal here. I was made into a sea to fight against Cocoon. It happened back on Grand Pulse, hundreds of years ago. I think it was about 500 years we ago, if I recall correctly. And we fell into a long crystal sleep. And then we get to do it again! Ha <laughs> ha! Doesn't sound like a very good incentive. So, you get to be able to see, you finish your focus so you don't turn into a monster, but then you get turned into a crystal only to be still a see, and you still have to do more things for the fallacy. I mean, you're enslaved for all eternity! Yeah. Not to mention, they don't really tell you what to do to begin with. Doesn't sound like a very good corporate model. Ah, so that's what happens when they wake up from being crystal. You hear that sound, viewers? That is the sound of a million twelve-year-olds masturbating. Yeah, nice job with the bright light there. Nice touch. What? They have to get clothes again? Didn't the clothes kind of stay with them when they uh, turned to crystal to begin with? 
Why do they have to just magically come on? Well, that seems kind of a nice way to wake up. Well, there we go. And they got their bling and everything. Nice. Didn't give them much clothes. We woke up on Cocoon to the start of a new focus. And again, and again, and again. She'd forgotten everything. Ah, nice. And for me, just the thought of hurting people again. It was too much. So I lied. Oh. I played dumb. Said I'd lost my memory. I'm sure that's I very hard for you to do, Vanille. The sea. Yeah, that that's a real stretch for and ever you. Ever since then, I've been running away from it. Well, it didn't really work out too well for you then, did it? All right, Let let's do this. Block our way, you die. You try I need your authorization maybe? password. Yeah, I thought maybe they'd run. There's been enough oh. blood spilled. You thought they'd run? Let me refresh your memory. Those soldiers think they're protecting Cocoon from the sea. Wow. The Falsi have them all brainwashed. Falsi. <laughs> I have had it. We cannot let this go on. Oh, well, we were just coming here to rescue Vanille. We weren't going to do anything else. But, uh, well, okay. But we'll take down the Sanctum, too. We will, my friend. You want to be any more uh, over the top there, Snow? <laughs> By the way, we can't use Snow right now. Uh, with the Paradigm... Or, you going to Paradigms? Yeah, we cannot change our team members at this time. So... Okay, well, what I want to do is I want to take a moment to upgrade my Crystarium, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, basically, I'm mostly trying to get everyone to get a Ravager Roll Crystal to, uh, a Roll Level, to uh, boost their chaining ability. Yeah, obviously, you know, the faster I can chain enemies, the faster I can kill them. Uh, let's see, how many of these guys we got? Yeah, we got enough of them. Let's use a uh, Sentinel for this one. Yeah, when you got like four enemies, it almost doesn't matter what enemies you're fighting. You really want to use Sentinel just to sort of crowd. It's almost a form of crowd control, really. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's do that. Ha! Just like that one battle on the roof there, except this time, you're mine! There's actually a new enemy uh, there, too, but I want to take out the guys in the back there first. Usually I like taking out the weaker enemies first and then going for the uh, stronger enemies when I'm using Sentinel like that. How many more do I got? One more. There we go. Got it. Now, oh, okay, I guess we can get one more round in. Oh, that's, I forgot to use uh, Libra on her. But yeah, the thing with this girl is that, you see all those buffs on her? Yeah, she used those at the beginning of the battle. So that can make her really annoying to have to deal with. Keep the enemy off balance. But if you just chain her like anyone else, she, go, well, she goes down like anyone else. So there you go. So yeah, basically, just use Sentinel to tank as many of the enemies as you can. And then once you get down to the Huntresses, then go all out and you're in pretty good shape. That's really going to be a lot of the strategy for, for this chapter, you know? Use Sentinel to sort of crowd control them, and then go all out. And a lot of these enemies drop those incentive chips, so this is a really good time to, um, you know, try to farm them if you want to. I'd wait until towards the end of the chapter, because they got a lot of enemies that do that there, too. Now that path up there, that leads back to, uh, well, where we started there, that hangar area that we came into. So, we don't want to go there. We want to go over here and grab this treasure! Yeah, they just leave these things lying around. Weapons that just so happen to be good for lightning. Got a lifesaver there. Uh, what does that do? I never use that. Oh, it improves DHP from rays. That revives you. Know, nothing that I'm worried about. Nah. We'll just pass on that. Now here we got two Huntresses. So probably what I want to do is uh, start with this paradigm to get Protect on Fang. Then switch to Sentinel. Yeah, in battles like that, you basically want to, uh, uh, what is it, 
You just, uh, use Sentinel until you kill all the weaker guys. Then you can afford to go all out like I did in that first battle there. Now with this guy here, we want to start with this paradigm here. We want to use Synergist and Saboteur. For, well, it's not an Orion. Who is this guy, anyway? Well, it's another one of those robots. Same general idea. This is Viking. Well, this, is, this really is the Viking love boat, isn't it? Well, anyway, we want to get a debuff on him if I can. While, now you see here, he has some fire attacks and, well, just trust me, he has some good physical attacks, too. So we want to get bar fire and protect on everything. Now that we've gotten slow on him, we want to switch to the next paradigm here. So that way we can start chaining him, get some more debuffs, or more buffs going, and get one more round, and then I'll switch to going all out. You could try to get, uh, what is it? You could try to get Curse on him, but I've never had any real luck with that. Slow, he's much more susceptible to slow. Once you get slow on him, that should be good enough. Although with uh, the other debuff that Fang has, uh, Curse, uh, that does lower their chance of interrupting your attacks and increases yours. So, eh, it's good, but I prefer, like, Deep Attack, D-Shell, and Peril, which... Well, Fang doesn't have right now, so... Oh, well. But yeah, um, if you noticed in the menu there, he's also weak to Water and Thunder, which works very well for my Aqua Strike and Spark Strike there. So that's pretty nice, which I would use those anyway on him, even if he weren't weak to them. Let's see. Yeah, we just got two of those guys. I can take him with uh, going all out like that. Yeah. Or maybe not. There's four of them. Okay. Um, yeah, they just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, yeah, let's start with that. One interesting thing that you can do in a battle like that is if you notice Fang getting a little low on HP, switch from Sentinel to going all out so that way the enemies will stop attacking her and they'll start attacking someone else who's already full on HP. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I want to start with this. Alright, basically for that battle, what I did was I, uh, yeah, let's Where's the save point? It's on the map. Oh, there it is. It kind of blends into the background. What I did was I essentially stayed on... What was that one? I stayed on Synergist long enough to get Protect on everyone. Then I went all out to kill the smaller guys. Then I switched back to my Saboteur paradigm. So that way I could uh, get slow on the remaining Viking there. Now, I'm just going to show you this here because... I'm not going to go through all these enemies and edit out like five different battles or however many there are here. I just figured I'd save there and I'll meet you at the end of this hallway next time. So, yeah, just get past all these guys. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Oh, well, yeah, this is a prison, but they're all just kind of standing there, not really guarding anything. But anyway, down here at the end of this hallway, we get a Pandoran Spear. Is that the right one that I really want? Yeah, I really like the Pandoran Spear for uh, Fang there. It basically boosts the success rate of things like Slow, Curse, Pain, Fog. Not so much on D-Protect and D-Shell. So that's the difference between that and like the uh, Marlboro one. So there we are. But can we get Vanille and Saz out of their cell? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.